Frank, the emergency line's been freed up. I'll give headquarters a call. Hang on. DHS headquarters. This is Agent Jessica McCarney. We have an emergency situation. Frank, it's over. HQ's decided to ignore us. What? What do you mean, ignore us? I contacted headquarters, but... The government has decided to deny all knowledge of what happened here. Special forces will arrive for cleanup at midnight. They'll take everyone out. Zombies, people, everyone. Jessica McCartney? Talk about your close calls. You contacted us just in time. Your boss thought we should have a talk with you before the operation begins. We'll be taking you into custody. If you sign an agreement to keep your mouth shut about all this, you'll be free to go. Jesse. The military. They'll come, won't they? It's just like Santa Cabeza. The government wants to cover this up, too.
I'll be damned. He's still alive. That son of a bitch made it. <gasps> that must mean he got his scoop. I can't wait to get my share of the take. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! You're awake. Oh, thank God. It wasn't easy getting you back here by myself, you know. You collapsed on the roof. I collapsed? No, I... Wait. Does that mean... You... You must have gotten yourself infected somehow. between infection and zombification differs greatly from person to person. You're lucky, Frank. 
You seem to have a very high level of resistance. So, uh... <laughs> so what you're saying is that I get to spend longer waiting for the inevitable. Is that it? <laughs> you know, I'm not sure lucky is the word I'd use. <sighs> Helicopter crashed. No one's coming to help us now. It's over for us. No matter what we do. Some way to impede the infection. If we could extract and administer a large dose of hormones from the corpus alarum of an adult queen, it would potentially hinder the growth of the larva in your blood, retarding the zombification process. Hang on a sec. I don't understand a word you just said. What are we supposed to do? I'll need certain supplies to get this to work. And queens, as many as you can get your hands on. All right. Sounds like a plan. Should be sitting around here waiting to die. leads out of here, I doubt these zombies would just let us walk right through. So, this drug that stops the parasite growth... Have you ever made it before, or is it just a theory? When I was working in the medical lab, my brother asked me to research a method of suppressing the parasite. Of course, back then, we didn't extract the hormones directly. We synthesized them in the lab. <laughs> so, he was looking to protect himself from his own terrorist scheme. He wanted a way out, is that it? I don't know! I know he didn't bring the drug with him here. I have no idea what he intended to use it for. You think I'm just making excuses, but Carlito kept things from me. <laughs> even if this, uh... 
Even if you do manage to make this drug, it won't completely cure me, will it? I'm afraid not. When the effect wears off, the parasite will develop as it normally would, continuing the zombification process. That lot of good that does me. This is all I need as far as supplies are concerned. Now all we need are some queens. Yeah, uh... Listen. Just how long do you suppose your drug will prevent me from turning into a walking corpse? During my research, I was never able to conduct proper clinical studies. To a certain extent, the period of effectiveness depends on each patient's physiology. It could be a year. Maybe only a week. There's no way to tell for sure. Fantastic. So, I'll be a walking zombie time bomb. A time bomb? What? Once the drug's development was complete, Carlito poured his energy into starting an NPO dedicated to helping war orphans. We had 50 doses of the drug prepared. Not long after that, the NPO managed to find homes for a large group of children. Want to guess just how many? He infected these kids and then gave them your drug? That he made 50 little ticking time bombs? I don't know. I just don't know. It is possible, though. Look at this. New York, D.C., L.A. These kids are spread all over the country. If your theory is right, the entire country could be crawling with zombies by now. I don't know what's worse. That we don't know for sure, that we can't warn anyone about this. Well, what we need to do right now is prepare the hormone and get you taken care of. You're gonna inject me with that, huh? Okay, Doc. Let's get this over with. <clears throat> At least I won't have to worry about turning into one of them for a while. Okay, next on the agenda, figure out a way to get the hell out of here. While I was isolating the hormone, I managed to identify a pheromone that suppresses the attack instinct in adult parasites. In other words, the zombies don't like the way it smells. If you give me a little more time, I should be able to produce some of this pheromone. They think it smells bad? You think we could use something like that to keep them away from us? We could just walk right past them and get out of here. In theory, yes. 
Either way, it's certainly better than nothing. There was a cave outside where the helicopter crashed. It was packed with zombies, I mean shoulder to shoulder. But it may lead somewhere outside. If it works, your anti-zombie perfume, it could keep us safe in that cave. What do you say? You ready to get the hell out of here? There won't be enough of this pheromone to waste it on experiments. We'll only have enough to use it once. Whatever you say. Considering how many of them keep pouring out of here, it must be connected to something. Isabella, look. Any other way out of here is guarded by the military. If we're gonna get out of here and put a stop to Carlito's plan, we've got to go in there. It's the only way. It's not like we're unarmed. We got your smelly perfume, don't we? <sighs> I wouldn't be alive right now if your shot hadn't worked. The perfume's gonna work too. I know it. All right. Let's go. Yeah. These automated machines are no use at all on the battlefield. Switch to manual control. My men mopped up the mall. On a mission in which the number of targets is unclear, it's difficult to ensure absolute thoroughness. Huh. You have imagination. That's what drives you in your quest to run. 
quest to hide. As prey, you and your kind are much more stubborn than the zombies. How much do you know about the zombies? I commanded the Santa Cabeza cleanup operation. If we had fulfilled our mission then, we wouldn't be needed here now to take care of this... incident. That's all it was to you, huh? A mission. What about those innocent people who had to pay for sins committed by our government and our its inhuman research? Our mistakes have not begun with this operation. <laughs> Humanity itself to be quite adept at making mistakes. Ha! Hell, it's the only thing we truly excel at. Well then, I'd say this mission isn't quite over yet. Don't you agree?